Hello, my name is Dr. Bagley. I'd like to thank you very much for joining me one more time. This one here is the third one of four, the webinar, L00LV3-4. Uh, so if you have uh, would like to reference this video, please do so with those numbers and letters. The group topic today is parent-child, where I talk about parent-child relationship. The specific topic of today's show is relationship case studies. Now, I've been counseling professionally since 1999. I've been a church counselor, uh, counselor for more uh, majority of those years. I come back to Wisconsin, and now I have my private practice. So, uh, we use some of those case studies to help parents understand the relationships between others so they can understand the relationship between them and their own children. Uh, this is a 30 minute program, so therefore at the end of it, it might be faded out a little bit. But if you call me and these contact down here, I'll be more than happy to send you the full uh, video. This is a live, a recording of a live workshop that I did not too long ago. It was entitled Parent-Child Communications. Again, this is the third one of the fourth one, but let me give you this note. The fourth one is all about questions and answers, a Q&A between the audience and myself. It's a little private, I believe, that I'm going to reserve the rights in not um, broadcasting it out in the public. However, if you will like the copy of that, because I do believe it is, it has a lot of information that could uh, you could utilize for your own relations, uh, contact me and I'll be more than happy to send that out to you. Now, if you call me, please call me on the business hours, okay? Email me, questions, comments, concerns, anytime. Without any ado, let's go ahead and get into it, and I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Single relationship problems. We're going to real quickly talk about that. Verse 18. Page 18, page 18. Why are there so many women up there and one little man? I'm going I'm to explain this. <laughs> Well, yeah, absolutely. And subconsciously, uh, yeah. So the single males, what they're doing is they're prep, prepping themselves up. Some of them show off their body, you know, muscles if they're muscular, um, whatever, whatever, whatever they're thinking they are. So, so in context, on the male's point of view, they like to look attractive, or in other words, have sex appeal uh, to bring attention because they like to have choices. So on the men's side, it's a little different. They are about security gathering uh, because they know it's nothing better than for a woman to have a man who's secure in his finances, emotion, and spirituality. And they know that from age 12 and up. They know that at 12. I'll tell you, I, at 12. I, 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 I know younger. Oh, I, yeah, I know younger now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> so here, here's the catch. No, so. Anyway, <laughs> so when a guy goes to the church or goes to wherever he goes and he looks halfway decent or whatever, and next thing you know, you got all these ladies trying to get his attention. And then what he does, it depends on the girl, he just filters through them. Whoever does whatever I want them to do, whenever I want them to do it. And eventually he'll find that girl. The puppet. The puppet, absolutely. Or what we call in our world, the trophy girl. <laughs> now, on the opposite, the female, the opposite, the female does the same thing, looks attractive, has sexual appeal, brings attention so you can have choices, but they use sexuality to the max. Now, why? It's subconscious, but it's actually a conscious thing. There are more females to guys. You got to do something 
to stand out. That's why you see purple hair, red hair, and everybody's got piercings and tattoos and some looks nice and whatever, you know? All of that is because why I want to be, I want to stand out. Now here's the problem with this, ladies. When you guys look too sexy, guys don't care about you. They care about one thing and one thing only because you brought out the hormone in them. <laughs> they only want sex. They don't care where, they don't care when. They just want it. So they will be with you as long as they need to be with you until they get what they want. And then when they get what they want, then they realize, I really don't want you. <laughs> right. <laughs> because this is a game. And the game for the men is the hunt. It is the hunt. It's the challenge. The more you make him wait, the better the hunt is for him. But then again, if you give him too soon, then he got it. And he's still going to do what he's going to do because ultimately you just brought out the hormones. It's a tricky, tricky business out there. <laughs> I never had so much attention. I went out there cap and gown. See? I was getting conversation I ain't never heard. What was you wearing? My cap and gown, my graduation cap and gown. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So you're saying you have more attention to your cap and gown than what you were trying yes. to get. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and for the right. And for the wrong. Yeah. No, see, Flies, has, Flies just did a video about these dudes paying more attention to the, the body parts uh, yeah. and not the educated women, the yeah. good women. Yeah. And he snapped and he was cussing. He said a lot of MF. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting up here like, so see, Flies said it. Mm -hmm. Did you kind of feel like your student? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sound she bad. got stability. Okay, Flies is a rapper. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> With a lot of gold teeth. Well, I mean, my auntie didn't know that's what I'm Yes. Oh, he, I didn't even know. I'm I like, know. Yeah, Flies is a rapper. Flies is a guy that's not a rapper. He, he, he made some songs with T-Pain. I used to love him, but I've been delivered. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he but P-L-I-E-S. Yeah. Don't listen to his music. Ain't no, ain't no clean conversation. Music. But now, but now he's promoting. The but now he's running. promoting. He's all. I, I think I heard, they've I heard always kind of been, yeah. but it ain't as yeah, often yeah, yeah, as they promote yeah. the others before. Right, 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 right. But this time he snapped like, "Y'all give too much Disney." I'm like, "Oh, he for real." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Yeah. See, the and the, and the older the guy, the younger the guy is, the more sexually driven he is. Um, the the uh, sex peak part, and we'll get into this in different seminars, more specific. Uh, the high sexual peak, sex peak, is eighteen to twenty-five ish in guys. So if you still forty day, no, 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 for guys, for guys. Sheesh, and and yet, yeah, 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 and that's what I mean. Yeah, the older they get, it is worse because the hormone is coming out. That's why Viagra and Salis is very good in the market. It's not that. It's not that they can't do it. It's just the <laughs> hormone in their body is not as strong as certain men. Certain men, not all, because the certain part is, are they in shape, out of shape, you know, that stress in life and all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, good shaping guy, we don't have problems like that. Just now it's a matter of, do you... <laughs> I'm talking about the guy right now. Right. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. He said, we don't. That's what he did. He said, we, That's we, what we don't. <laughs> right, right, right. That's we, we, we don't. We don't. I'm just saying the obvious. <laughs> we, don't. we don't. Right, right. Now, we, he what, know what he's saying. Right. So, in context, what what turns is what what makes a man is now the arousal part of it. That's why um, pornography mm -hmm. is very big in older guys <laughs> who are in shape or who doesn't have a problem with ED. Is now because when they were younger, they did what they did, and now they need something new to arouse them. Okay. Now the women is quite the opposite, though. Your sexual peak it starts at 30, 35, all the way up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this this that's means that, that that's <laughs> right. That's why we have cougars. <laughs> cougars are forties and fifty year old ladies just going out with twenty and 
around 20 age groups because the sexual peak is compatible. So guys is 18 to 25 ish, ladies starts at 35 all the way up to their 50s. Wow. Oh, it's well past the 50s. I know it is. I'm just saying up to the 50s. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? Oh, I saw you. <laughs> He's like, I ain't got no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> yeah, girl, we know how she dances. Yeah. See, some, 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 yeah. <laughs> She can tell everybody that's since we've been here. Though. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah. I know. She knows your mama real well. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Let's finger. She won. She was like, oh, anyway, anyway. Oh. Okay, you know, move on. All right. So going back to off of this, these these nuggets here. What happens is now that the mom is going out dressed in a certain way, regardless of how it is, and dad does the same thing, or the guys go out and the kids are looking and then not only looking at how you get attention, but they're, you're also through guilt and other issues, you're dressing them up like that and prepping them for that. And then when they become the freak, you know, the old saying is you lock them down in home, but as soon as they go to college, oh my gosh. Yeah, now, yeah. Yeah, so that's, yeah, I'm gonna get into that. So be careful in those point of view, especially when we got young ones in the house, okay? The older guys and girls, they're already locked down, they know what they know, and they're gonna experiment even further. And Unfortunately, because of social media and oh internet, 10 years old is out there kissing and fondling each other. Yeah. Holy crap. Younger than Kids that. Are younger than that. Unfortunately. They're younger than that. Of course, look at these kids. I mean, come on. Five years old. Right, right, right. But, but see, here's the thing, here's the thing. These kids are only imitating what they see. They have no clue. They don't have no clue. It's when they get into that independent stage, like I said, 10 years old range, 10 to 10 to 13, 14, my gosh. The emotion is, the, the bodies are changing, hormones are changing. Uh, that's when they really start to pump it up. Going to school, changing clothes, doing panelists and all of that other stuff. Oh, yes. Well, I'm, what I'm confused about, and I'm not judging, I, I don't have any girls. And one time I did try to shop for a girl, it was almost difficult. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe the sexy clothes that they have out for little girls. Like, why would you have a bikini? They started 12 months. Yeah, yeah uh, they have bikini for, for infants. Yeah. Bikini for infants. Why? I mean, I, of course, the industry, I, most of them have no morals. But who's the mom? Well, well, you can't say that now. Out. You can say Christianity has no morals. But why are the mothers going out there, the parents? Buying this, I mean, especially because the mothers are are wearing it. Right, right. You see, the so the industry, family. yeah, the industry they is not stupid. They have little girl phones for her age. Huh? What? Yes. yes. You saw that one, really? Yes. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I've seen a special. They have thongs yep. for little toddlers. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's nice. yeah. Alrighty. So, yep. <laughs> So in, in the psychology of it, the male and female, when you guys start dating, be very careful because you can kick the kids aside. You know what I mean? You're only focused on the guy. And, and yeah, only the guy. You're only focused on them and not the kid. And so you get frustrated of the relationship not working or you're just settling. But on the other side, there's no communication between you and them. And so there's a disconnect, anger, and then disobedience start kicking in. You don't care about me, I don't care about you. I don't have to like them. I got my own dad and mom or whatever. So be careful with that. So in a child's development, they copy what they see to get attention. Every love, everybody loves attention. The question is, how do we get them? Okay. So here's a thing to help out in a single relationship with kids. Parents, talk to your kids about what is a man, what is a husband, 
what is a father, what is a mother, what is a wife, and what's a woman. The first one was a woman. All right. As simple as that saying, what can you do just like yeah yeah and, and you, yeah and you'll you'll be surprised just sit down with your kids spread. and then here's here's what you need to do differently from the list you include your child in finding the right person you meet somebody outside you bring them home when they leave the house you walk and talk with them what do you think you include them in your dating process let them have a voice, not dictating. They're not telling you what to do and not to do. I'm just saying, you want to try to include them as much as possible to get to know the guys, just like you're trying to get to know the guy. Let everybody get to know. That would change the dating <coughs> scenario a little bit more. You know, you'd be very careful who you bring it into the house, which is a special note. Don't bring sex partners home. Bring nobody home. That's I'm well, see, not, not, not necessarily, not, not, not necessarily, not necessarily, just a sex partner home, because we talked about in our show, you start calling them uncle and all that other That's stuff. Me. <laughs> I think, I think, I think. Right, so now you're sleeping with your uncle, right? Yeah, because we hear from those walls. Right. 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 I don't know. I just so 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 in context, I don't want you ladies not to date because dating is very healthy. Because it's one, you get to filter through guys, and when I say filter, I'm not saying have sex with them. I'm saying just talk to them, date them. Uh, you get to know who you are, what you're willing to accept and not accept. At the same time, if you do it in a decent order, you get them to realize what's good and what's not good. So dating can be healthy if it's done right. It's the problem when you get a guy, he, you let him woo you, and then next thing you know, three days later, you're sleeping with him. And that happens all the time. Yes? Would you clarify when you said, when you get your kids involved in a dating process, yes. that's after you, you interview them. Worthy, them. And he right, right, right. That's what I'm just yeah, right away. Right. No, I'm not saying that. No, well, no. please hope, yeah, please hope you didn't think that. No. So no, you you know a guy, you you interviewed him, you've been out a couple of dates, and then slowly, well, but see here here's the catch though. If you as soon as you start having sex with them, that's when it messes up. I don't care what the motive is intentionally. Everything changes when you start having sex. See, I purposely don't like I don't let people know where I stay. And I don't go to their house. We date in public. I meet you out. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't, and, and see, that's the thing. Like, dating for me is kind of like, like my kids actually encourage me. Yeah. Go find it. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. And, and they also know that I'm, you know, I'm their mom. And right. It's my job to protect them. So I'm not going to just bring anybody around. So they all have their little jokes or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, what they'll say or do. But it's like now, it's like for dating. You almost got to do like the criminal background. See, my problem is how long do you mm -hmm. let it go? Because see, what do you mean let what go? Like how long do you, before you get to introduce the kids? Because I mean, it takes a while for me to really be like, oh, you might be the one. I, I, I see that right. That yeah, life. yeah. No, not so, that that long. No, it's like <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, because I'm like, if if if, if I, in my mind you're not giving me any signs that you want to move forward. All right, so future, right. I'm like, well, why am I introducing my kids? Because dating is for fun. It's not for that. But half these jokes ain't fun. But then that's that you got to get a different pool. You got to get a different pool to pull from. <laughs> nobody make nobody really makes pass a second date with me. Cause see, I'm not. You know, it's like I get a. What are you looking for? Somebody that's cool. Like, I mean, I, I want that's you to love God. I want God to be a focal point. No, I, 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 I want you to try. That they did wrong on the day that you were just playing. Like, that's it. There's no that's more. Dude, don't give me this. I'm fat enough. Stop taking me out to eat. Can we go do laser tag? Can we go bowling? Can we play pool? I mean, no, I'm we like, don't do that, dear. Well, when you go to eat, you don't have to order something. No, but it's not. But, what but, do you I mean, when you, you ask me, what do you like to do? Okay. And I tell you what I like to do. He's not asking you to tell him. He just wants to know a general gist of 
the character you are. Well, usually this conversation comes when they're like, well, you know, I want to take you out. What do oh, you okay. like to do? Okay. So they're specific. Okay. So okay. I'm like, okay, this is what I like to do. Okay. And? And then you, so you went to the movies? You go to the movies? Okay. <laughs> you can't talk at the movies? And I'm like, maybe I'm just being a little extra. I mean, so my I thing think is, you're being a little extra. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can talk after the when, when you go, when you go out, ladies, it's not about finalizing anything. Oh my gosh. It's, yeah. It's, Help us. Yeah. It's it's. Yeah, because I mean, for real. It's like okay. For example, if you say if you say to a guy, so if you if you say to a guy, all right, let's go out. I, he just wants to go out. You just don't want to just want to go out. I want to get out the house too. Let's get out the house together and let's eat and talk civil and have fun and shoot each other with the laser stuff and without the expectation without of no expectation right. yeah. of nothing. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about God. I don't want to talk about careers. I don't want to talk about not in the first date. But most of the most of the she I don't talk about that in the first date. But so that's if a guy comes up to you and that's the first thing he asks. Then that's fine. He's that's where he's at. And right. he's he's on a different level just, than I than most heard. people are. <laughs> Have you bought a house yet? Have you? <laughs> I didn't know. Right. See, so <laughs> is this a job? Yeah. Yeah. You don't even know you mean. <laughs> <laughs> You know what you did? Next, next time you get a guy like that, have him call her. <laughs> they have that conversation like that at that first day. Man. For me, I don't want to talk about those serious, because I'm thinking, can I even deal with you first? That's all I want to know. Holy cow. Can you eat properly? Can we have a decent conversation? That's that's all I care about. That's all most guys care about. Now, it's an added bonus if we think you're attractive. All guys want to have sex, so get that out your head. All guys want to have sex, so don't even consider that. So it's it's about having fun, ladies. It's about having fun. Date five guys, not all at the same time, and not all the same week. We already had that step. Right, right, right. But have fun, have fun, have fun. Go out, have fun. And then when you start having fun, then you can start having fun with the kids, eventually. So what would you say if a guy says he's boring? If a guy tells one of us that he's boring, is that somebody, huh, the bus? Okay. Well, see, in your case, the bus. Yeah, she's an extrovert to the high extreme. So yes, that boring guy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, I mean, literally, I'm, I get bored. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. So you went out with a guy, and at the end of the day, you say he's bored. Well, he, no, he had, like, I had a text message. I'm bored. And I'm sitting up here, like. That he wants you, he wants to do something. He want to do something good. But, I mean, but see, I, what? I want to be, just say what you say. It. He say did it. say it. He, he said, said he was bored. I asked him what he wanted to do. No. He said he's bored. No. Why not All right, hold on, hold on. He said he was bored. He, he actually texted me. Said, hey, what's up? I said, what's up? He said, I'm bored. I'm like, oh, he said, I'm bored. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want you to initiate something. Yeah. He wants to initiate something. Yeah. He wasn't ready. You he put June you know he 18th you. in your calendar. Right. Now. Right. So you just messed up a little. See, I've done that quite a few times with different ladies that I know, but they know that I'm these this guy who's doing a lot of stuff. So when I text them or call them and say, "Hey, I want to do something," I don't. I don't want to think about what I want to do. Just tell me what you want to do, and I'm let's go do it. That's the same thing with my husband. It, he just say he bored all day long. I'm like, we we about to go do this. Right. And so I make the decision. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> because I like to do stuff. Right. right. And so it, because I have that mindset, of, okay, I'm gonna help him out to go have fun. Let's go do this. Right. What you see? And I don't care what we do. Let's just do. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We gotta be where? What time? Okay. Right. And that's that's the beautiful thing. Right. Because I've always got something to do. All right, so, 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 so without knowing the guy, I would just simply say this: that guy right there, that guy right there, <laughs> trusts you, and he looks at you 
as a person that he trusts, but he wants you to take lead. But I just met. It doesn't matter. And is that a role that a wife? I mean, you know, uh, I'm not saying no. wife, but I'm saying like a wife. Why? Where does she know? Okay, look. No, 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 no. Okay, this is my no, role. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Just move on. I'm through with you. I'm through with you. I'm not serious. I'm like, no. 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 You ain't got a friend yeah. and you looking for a husband. I got plenty of friends. I don't think I have guy friends. Only date to have a husband. Yes, no, yes. 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 You have to listen. We have to get rid of that. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Friend first. Well, I have to say this. Yeah. Marry you. Go ahead. I have to say this. Let me first. I have yes. to say this. He's a man, and he's telling you <laughs> a man part of you, so you need to listen. And I am. I am. To I this am. man, I am. is what she's saying. Okay. You got, got, you got some guys who want, excuse me for eating, but you got guys who want to get married to, but they're not going to be looking for a wife on the first date. Maybe the third, not the first. As soon as you start talking, as soon as you start thinking, you talk about it on the first day. You talk about it on the first day. No, no, don't get me wrong. These ain't like conversations. I'm literally, this is, this is, this is going through my head. This is not how I conduct myself on the first day. I'm not like a drill sergeant, but I'm just being transparent about some of the stuff. And you're a drill sergeant, you're transparent. Yeah. That transparency tells me certain body language, for example, body language, 80% is your body language communicating, 7% is what you're verbally saying. And because you don't, he doesn't fit a profile in your mentality head of yours, your body language says, I like you or don't like you. And he picks it up real quick, quicker than you even think. You're very expensive. And he was shut time. off. <laughs> he was shut it off. And once he shut it off, then no, he's not a husband quality. Because now you're in the middle of a date with a guy who don't feel appreciated. Wow. Because he doesn't. Thank you. Why like are you I don't understand it. It's like, I don't know, this is probably for the journey of teen sex. Yeah, it is. all of this is really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's making a child. For me, it's a big thing. You need to take your children first. Yeah. 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 Yeah.